There it is, the 5 a.m. gridlock. Should have left at 3 o'clock in the morning, Elias. Then you wouldn't sit in traffic to go fishing. I wonder if I wasted approximately one year of my life in traffic yet. Well, definitely not a year, but I've definitely spent at least six months sitting in a car waiting to move. Yeah, drive on the grass, drive wherever you want, man. All right, guys, today we're striper fishing. I was not planning on striper fishing at all on my trip to New York. Actually, fluke fishing, but found a couple decent fish the other day. I snagged myself two fresh little baits there. I have a video on my channel how to build one of these guys, so it's very simple. We're gonna live line around some rocks, troll the tube, try to pull out that big fish that got the better of me the other day. My last day on the kayak in New York, so we're gonna stick with the stripers. I feel like that's the right call. I don't know, they might have moved off. I feel like yesterday was a very lucky day just to find them. Probably still traveling through on their way east. Bunker, bring me. Bring me gifts. All right, we're gonna go through one of the nostrils. And that's it, just like that. Exactly the presentation I want. Got our bunker back there. We're gonna swim him out, maybe, I don't know. Keep him out there about 100 feet. And we're gonna troll him. Not troll him, we're gonna assist, we're gonna assist the drift him through where I think Megalodon Striper might be. I feel like good bites never happen two days in a row. Blind luck is one thing, but duplicating success two days in a row is where I feel like my downfall will be today. I don't think I'm going to get that hot bite again today. It's just, I don't know. I guess you never know, but I don't know. Literally just dropped that bunker straight down. That bass was on it. Right. I don't know if he's big or not. He doesn't feel that big. He doesn't feel small though. I don't know if that's my monster from yesterday. I don't think so. But he's still not bad. I no idea that fish was there. Literally no clue. Oh, he ain't that big. Until he doesn't know he's hooked. He ain't small. Your percep my perception's all screwed up from fighting black tips and spinner sharks. I don't know what a big striper feels like anymore. It's not a big one, really. It's a little guy. It's a live bunker little guy. So, a start is a start. Still, not a bad fish, right? Not a bad one at all. Oh, we're gonna put this guy back. Definitely not what I missed yesterday. I know yesterday I missed the true beast of the bay. Water 70. I didn't fight him that long, and his spine's up. He's good. Marked a couple fish deep, 25 feet down on a ledge, so uh, we're going to live line them. Try to live line them, rather.
Didn't take too long. I'm amazed I'm even catching any fish based on the fact it's so warm out. But we will take it all day, every day. This guy ain't too big, but he ain't bad. Nice fish. Just think about that one, huh? Another solid fish right there. Uh-oh. Really? Fish hit my bunker as I was bringing it in. I don't know how big he is. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good to me. I think we're just gonna actually worry about fighting this fish. It's that magic part of the tide. Oh boy, what a company. Nice fish. Dock out. Yeah, go for dock out. Hmm. There you go. Another cookie cutter. Looks like they're all the same fish. Well, that's it part two of this kind of journey and uh, if there was more bait I would catch more fish but there is no bait Bait is hard to come by today I'm heading in now it's starting to get really hot those fish are still biting water 70 uh, they're, they're gonna move off any day now for sure um, as soon as that water gets kind of dirty right now it's the clarity is good I guess it's well oxygenated but they'll be gone soon especially with that lack of bait all we did was fish with this die with saltist 20H, 50 pound braid on there, that's an 80 pound liter fish finder slider, weight adjusted as needed, 10 o Gamagatsu Octopus. Um, sometimes I was hooking them through the bottom draw, to the top nostril, sometimes through both nostrils. Sometimes both nostrils worked out better. Uh, it's a tsunami slow pitch rod. All the information about you know what I was using, the gear, 
There's affiliate links in the description. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here, chill out, enjoy the 90 degree blistering heat, and catch up soon. So hope you enjoyed. Planning on doing kayak fluke videos turned into striper. Prefer to have done fluke, but uh, I couldn't find the uh, a good fluke bite, and I surprisingly found a good striper bite. I wouldn't say good, but pass definitely passable. So three fish is not bad in uh, July. So take it. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Holy crap, it's hot. This is the hottest I've ever kayaked. And it's like 90 degrees. There's no wind. Rough, real rough, real rough, man.